Okay, so we are set up here under the lime bush. Um, the onion's in place, connected to the antenna. A bit of stream relief going on here, a bit of perspex, and there's the antenna plugged in. We've got a counterpoise wire, the black wire, running off up the garden a wee way. The mats here sitting on that plastic lid, mainly to keep it from being scratched, and they're uh, increasingly poor um, quality. Uh, Rather rustic looking uh, patch leads there, but they're in and doing a, a fine job. And there's the the tuner. The tuner is in and it kind of it's running, sort of so to speak. And the um, the 818, or oh, it could be an 817, I suppose, but it's an 818. Is there? And we're receiving. Uh, there's a net that runs here in uh, in ZL about this time of the evening uh, on 80 meters. So we're uh, receiving that and battery power supplied by um, some uh, 18650s there into the radio. So all very good stuff. So pretty standard, that side of things. So let's look at the map then. So what we can do here is switch it on and to switch it on is a long-ish press. It sort of gives you an idea, press hold for three seconds to power on and off. A short press though gives you a battery indication on these. And um, from what I can work out, um, 10%, 50%, 80%. This basically, and um, it uses LEDs, a green one, which is generally for good, yellow one for, you know, not so good on the SWR, and a red one for bad SWR, don't go there. And um, it also uses those same LEDs um, for battery. So you give it a quick quick press and you can see they light up. And in this case, the batteries are fully charged. So it's um, lighting all those batteries and away, away you go. We're good to go. It's now on and the power is to the unit. And, um, what we can do is we can obviously we're on on frequency there so we don't want to tune on frequency we'll we'll, we'll come off and we'll come some way down into the ooh, maybe not that far down into the cw portion of the band around there and see what we can get in terms of a tuning cycle so a tuning cycle for this then is just pressing and holding um that button down um, for about one or so seconds and it kicks the um, radio into tune so if we maybe focus on that and, and there you go quickly dropped into fm get a carrier and then it's tuned and you can see that we're online and gone for a bypass and then if i um focus in on there um we can also see a quick quick press of um That puts the oh, ALC SWR. And we can see that um, obviously we're receiving at about uh, a rather horrible S4, but um, nonetheless, we'll just turn it down. It's a, a noisy old beast. Um, when there now, I'd need to transmit to uh, get the uh, SWR meter to perk up, and I don't even want to do that in that part portion of the band because um, that will upset the uh, CW fellas. So uh, we're not going to go and do that, but. Um, you get the drift. So it's tuned really straightforwardly um, without any major problems at all. Now for full disclosure, um, I did come out here somewhat earlier and had a bit of a play around. So this baby remembers um, about 16,000, I think, uh, tuning combinations. So it's probably been in, a, in on and around this part of the band before. And um, so it knows, uh, knows what's going on. Now what you can do with it is switch it off once you've uh, tuned. That's just press and hold the button again for about three seconds. These are latching relays in here. So once it's tuned and you switched it off, you save the battery in the tuner, but it holds the tune if effectively or the, the setting and um, you're able to transmit. So uh, with it, without that, that setting. So that's a pretty handy dandy feature. So all good stuff. So I'm going to um, have a bit more of a play around here. Although the uh, the lemons are looking good, and I'm thinking I might want to get in for that gin and tonic any second, so we'll see how we go there. But um, yeah, there's a basic idea. So hopefully that's useful if you're thinking about an MAT-10. I think it's a pretty good bit of kit, um, and uh, yeah, seems to work as advertised, and is uh, really robust, really nicely built, full aluminium enclosure. Um, just flipping it over, um, yeah, solid bit of uh, stuff. About the same sort of size. As an iPhone for uh, for to give you a bit of an idea, or an iPhone 10 or 7 or something like that. All right, great stuff. Thank you very much for looking.